Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Brown. This is going to be incredible. These are some of my favorite people. They're experts in drinking, uh, talking about drinking. When we're born, we don't love alcohol. And I think Speak people, for yourself. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> I kind of think cocktails are a lot like fashion. You know, 10 years ago, people, like craft cocktail bars were like no vodka. Okay, and recently, it's been like a no vodka's back, and we're accepting vodka, and it, it's very cyclical. It's interesting that we're in the, the National Archives right now because, in some ways, a Negroni is something that is a it's a way of life. It's a story, and, and I think the stories behind it are very important. There was a question: Are we going to tell people how we make the grenadine? And I was like, Yeah. This is a generation of people that you can get into this as uh, a culinary art. And they're finding that a, a career in the bar business, they're making more money or as much money as they would make using their degree. I want spicy and I want smoky and I want my palate to be shock, shock, shock. This bitter, is bitter. not just London and New York and Paris. This is every, any city where, where there's enough people willing to go out and have food, and the drinks are going to follow closely behind. In like three of the bars, I saw them using clay, soil, and like other dirt elements. Just saying things, things are happening, you know? <laughs> the entire generation has grown up with options for good cocktails. Why would you give it up? That is what would have to happen. You would have to decide to no longer drink cocktails, and I just don't think that's going to happen, am I right? <laughs> The best way to support the National Archives Foundation is by going and contributing to them, becoming a member, because they have so many incredible programs that you can see and discover here.